Well, here on Pure Nebraska, we always like to take time to put the Alliance for the Future of Agriculture, or AFAN, in the spotlight. AFAN is very interested in the expansion of livestock in Nebraska. Today, AFAN is helping us connect with a local producer who has added a beef barn to his cow-calf operation. So join us now to talk about the cow-calf operation and about the beef barn is Tyler Berkey. Thanks for being here today. Good morning. You bet. Good to see you. And you farm out by Milford, correct? Yes, that's right. Okay. And so let's talk a little bit about your cow-calf operation. Okay. Um, basically, we're kind of like the um, uh, starting point of the of a beef life cycle. We, we, we take care of the cows, um, raise the calves, for the first year of their life until we market them on to you know uh, feedlots or other you know producers okay so. I always wondered when I hear that term all the time cow calf yeah. operation so you're dealing with them from birth yep. to maybe a year old yeah, or so. right around there yeah and then they move on then to a feedlot yep. or something yeah. like that at that Correct. point yep. okay interesting so. um, you are maybe on the cutting edge a little bit here of some work with raising cattle mm -hmm. um, and you're talking about a beef barn this morning mm -hmm. what is this beef barn and how how does it enhance your operation? So, so what it is is we we build a barn that that will house um, basically uh, there's three buildings on our facility and they'll house around roughly 250 cows. Um, and you know basically we're trying to get um, uh, more of a controlled, safer environment for these cattle. Um, lets us be a lot more efficient in in feed and um, you know genetics of, of how we do things and and, and just be a little more sustain sustainable in our operation. Right, right. And uh, we have some photos, I believe, of this beef barn. What are the advantages of doing this again, of, of a beef barn? Is it, a, is it helping with weight gain? Is it helping with, you know, at the end product of, of getting more beef to consumers at the end of the day? Absolutely. Um, you know, basically when you, when you think of a barn, you, you know, basically our, our biggest uh, thing is we can't control is the environment. You can't control weather, rain, mud. Um, if you can eliminate those factors and, and get those animals where they're in a healthier uh, environment, you know, it'll produce a calf that will that'll do better, be a healthier animal. Uh -huh. um, so yes, the feed efficiency is, is a huge part of this. Mm -hmm. And us. then I know, Tyler, you have two children. Yes, that's seven correct. Seven and six, yep. I believe. And so how do they help you with the operation? Um, they, they help us with everything. <laughs> but they love the, the cattle. And, and so they, you know, th that's the, the fun part about this is it's made us, uh, uh, it's a safer environment for the kids. Um, you know, in fact, my, you know, like when we go out and feed, they, they come along and, and you know, they, I think they've tamed down everything and where they can pet them. And <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Everything's more controlled yes, that way. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do you let your cattle graze at all or is it mostly in the barn? Then? Yeah, absolutely. Um, basically the way the way it is is um, from the time the the calf is born, um, they'll be in the barn for 120 days with the cow. Mm. Um, after 120 days, the cow um, will go on out to uh, grass or or stock fields um, and, and graze then. Okay. And, and they'll stay out till they you know basically 15 days before they calve again. So, so this is really helpful for the calving part of it. Isn't yes. It? I mean, because yep. there is a lot of you know unknown elements out there well, when they're trying to give birth and in, in the cold and the wet and everything yeah, like that. The, absolutely. You know, typically where we live is not um, considered a cow calf area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have our, our weather, we have the mud. You know, we, we have a lot of environmental factors that are. That, that really are against us. And this lets us be able to do that. Um, you know, we have, where we live, is, uh, we've got an abundance of feed. And so we've, we've made it so we can utilize all this, you know, and, and we do have grass. So this let us um, double our cow herd size without having to go buy expensive land or, you know, um, you know, if, you know or, you know, it's, it's just our, our way of expanding. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, and would you recommend this to others? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, absolutely. It, I think it's something that's, that's coming in the beef industry, you know. Um, it, 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 it opens up new opportunities, especially for, for kids that, you know, that are graduating college and they want to go back to the farm, you know, not necessarily going and buying a $10,000 an acre piece of ground is going to be profitable. This is something that you can look at that will, that, that might, be a better advantage for them, I yeah. guess. Excellent. Okay. All right. Tyler, Good. thank you for coming in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. and say hi to everybody in Milford. I will. Back. All right. <laughs>